Hey guys, this is Scott Renfer here. I told you I would get some videos out of what it would take to prepare for a Crappie Masters tournament and we're about four weeks out uh, before the tournament. Uh, August 22nd is the tournament. It's now July 31st and what we're doing right now is I spend a lot of time on the phone with guys that are down there fishing. Um, they tell me where they're catching them at, how deep they are, they tell me if you know if the water, if they're running water, if they're not running water, were they on the bottom, were they uh, scattered, are they holding tight to the brush? Um, that information is is great because that allows me not to go down and burn tanks of gas going down four weeks ahead of time for the tournament. Um, I can also spend a lot more time with my family uh, doing activities around the house, kind of get out of jail free card for the wife and kids. Um, I also use a lot of social media. Um, if you'll come over here, I'll show you what I've got. I use Facebook. Um, Facebook has several different groups on here that you can, these guys will post information as far as what the, where they caught their fish, how many fish they caught. Um, I don't completely rely on everything that these guys say. Um, everybody, we know all fishermen. If you know a fisherman, they're going to tell you a lie. So, um, so you take that information for granted and utilize what you can. Um, there's also other websites. Um, I know I use crappie.com. And um, there's also a, a website for how much water they've let out. Um, this one right here shows me July 22nd, Norval Lake Pool was 718.2. Uh, and right now it's July 29th and we're almost to 7.14.5 so they're dropping the water out. Um, I also have a program that I have purchased through uh, Hummingbird and it's uh, it's a program where I can take different lakes um, I can this is part of Truman Lake the Grand Arm I'll take it I can zoom in let's say the guys are saying they're catching them in a certain area of the lake let's say they're catching them right here on this certain they, they mentioned this part of the lake I'll go ahead I can take this part of the lake and go to three-dimensional and I'll click on it and as what this allows me to do is this will allow me to rotate and tilt so I can see the contours that are underwater and I can do all this from my house. So I can see the river channel. You can see the river channel comes through here. I can then blow this up to a point that I can study every little nook and cranny. Uh, you know, you can sit here and look. This is the river channel as it goes through here. I then can take this and spin it around so I can say, okay, where's a place that I can fish that nobody else has caught fish on before? You can see all these little breaks that are around in here and you can chase these fish um, you can come in here and this what this does is this helps me to eliminate water when I first get started out um, I could take that and spin that around however I want uh, this is a Lake Master product uh, through uh, Hummingbird um, I also have set up my fish finder so that is what I can do is I can record with my hummingbird what my days were when I was on the lake. If I'm on the lake and I'm recording everything that I've done, I can come back and all day long or all evening long, instead of watching the TV, I can sit here and I can see exactly where I went, everything that I did, and I can study, okay, right here's, right here's some trees. These are the trees. Are they holding any fish? I can look up what their locations are and I say I miss these trees when I was out fishing because I can coordinate my GPS codes my GPS locations from this and then come over to this program and find out exactly where this is at with the GPS locations that is just a few of the things that I do when I'm four, four or five weeks out um, you gotta start preparing somewhere and instead of going down to the lake all the time burning your gas um, I'm not going to waste a half a tank of gas out there. I enjoy fishing as much as everybody else, but uh, I have other commitments. Uh, so, so what this allows me to do is basically I can fish from home. I can gather up as much information as I can. Um, 
Another thing that I do is whenever I fish a tournament or if I go down and I pre-fish, I have a notebook that I have and I write down all the weather information, how many fish I caught, what the depth was, what the color that they were fishing on, and I'll go